um, this was just a preliminary trial, so um, we used two different approaches to aerobic exercise training. One was where we used a custom bike to augment the rate of pedaling. So basically it was assisting patients to achieve a rate that they were unable to achieve on their own because of the impact of their stroke. Um, and we paired that with traditional upper extremity task practice or basically rehabilitation. The other group um, did just, excuse me, voluntary rate aerobic exercise training, also paired with this upper extremity rehabilitation. And the third group had just the upper extremity rehabilitation, the same dose, but they didn't have an aerobic exercise component associated with it. So what we're seeing is that um, stroke patients typically don't get much aerobic exercise training, and primarily because, again, they have the hemiplegia or hemiparesis, so they're not able to really have that cortical output where they can exercise at an aerobic level. So we're seeing that with the bicycle, and particularly the forced exercise bicycle, or the one that augments their rate, they're able to achieve that rate that is probably um, beneficial and from a from the impact of the brain, we're seeing that aerobic exercise might actually um, create an environment in the brain where the task practice can be um, exploited or optimized. So I think it's um, something they have to almost do it and feel it to, be to believe it. So just like any of us, we don't always like to exercise. It's not one of the first things that we like to do. But after the fact, after we do it, we feel better about ourselves and in general. So um, I think if we can develop something in a group environment where they're with um, similar people who have some amount of disability, they might be less embarrassed about you know, how they can exercise. And if we can give them the ability to exercise, then they might be more apt to do it. Um, and then secondarily, if we talk about the risk of reducing secondary stroke, which is really prevalent, then that would be important too. And if these findings are true, that it can help with motor recovery, then that's just more bang for your buck. Doing is, I'm a physical therapist by training, um, so what we're actually doing is see is if we can implement this in a rehabilitation environment, um, and it actually can help all three because it can help occupational therapists with you know the goals that they do with upper extremity function. It can help PTs with respect to walking, endurance, etc., and actually has shown to improve cognitive function in individuals with like mild cognitive impairment and such. Um, I think people know to recommend it. I mean, everyone knows that exercise is good for your health, but I think the barrier is how do individuals who have hemi paresis, how can they exercise? So this might be giving them a mode in which they can, um, and then hopefully they could take that on and do that at like a YMCA or a local, um, some type of community organization. Um, not certainly with the, with the motorized bike, but with an upright stationary bike. We found that that group did, also did well, not quite as well as the force group, but, and they all improved cardiovascular fitness, so both aerobic exercise groups did.